All right. So today in this video, I want to introduce an AI tool straight up from the future. So this AI tool in question that can go ahead and code full stack web application, fix errors by itself, install third party NPM packages and also deploy this whatever code that you generated in single command. Okay. Now, if you were to use Claude AI or V0 by yourself, you will have to give it some prompt and it will generate the code. And then you will have to manually go ahead and open an IDE, set up the project, copy paste the code, install the packages and stuff like that. And if you were to use cursor AI, the maximum it could do is to kind of create files for you and also populate the code using the cursor composer feature. But this tool right here can go ahead and install third party packages write the code and finally deploy it as well. Now this tool that I'm talking about is bolt.new and it is like a new kid in the block and I genuinely found this tool too interesting and that's the exact reason why I'm creating this video. This is not a sponsored video or anything. So let me show you what exactly I'm talking about. All right. So this right here is the website that I've been talking about and it is called bolt.new. You can head over to this link to access the tool. And the first thing that you got to do is to sign up for a new account. So once you're logged into your account, this is the interface that you'll be treated with. And as you can see from here, it supports a variety of stacks. Okay. For example, you have Astro, Wheat, Next.js, Next, uh, React, Remix, Svelte, Vue.js. Now, this tool supports all of these, okay? Now, to create a web app, all you got to do is to give it a prompt in here, okay? So, I'll just go ahead and copy a prompt that I've prepared and I'll go ahead and paste it here. Create a sticky notes web app in Next.js 14 app router. User should be able to add sticky notes and freely drag and drop to re rearrange, okay? Now, this is the prompt that I'm going to uh, send and I'll click on the send option and let's wait. All right, so Bolt is finally done writing the code for the website and you can find all the files that it created and you can also see the live preview of all the code right here, okay? Now to actually see the preview of the app it has coded, you can go ahead and switch it over to the preview tab. And now we asked for a sticky notes website where we can go ahead and enter something and also maybe just rearrange it using, but simply by dragging and dropping stuff, okay? I'll go ahead and enter read books maybe and buy groceries okay now these are the two things that i'm going to add and the important feature that we asked for is the ability to drag and drop items okay let me try and drag okay it just works i can now drag and drop to rearrange stuff let's add a random another one maybe another one and cool i can freely move around and you know sort of drag and rearrange all the sticky notes right here okay now if you want to you can go ahead and incrementally add new features as well for example let's say i want to let's say i want each notes to have a different color okay also add a to-do list functionality to the web app let's see what it comes up with all right so it has started writing code and also updating codes in the existing files let's wait till it is done all right so bolt has gone ahead and edited the page.tsx files and added all the features that we asked for at least let's hope and you can find the code here and to preview it just click on the preview option and there you have it okay let's just go ahead and add something uh let's say buy books add note read books shopping great and as you can see the notes the sticky notes are right now in a different color and to each of these sticky notes you can also see a add to do option let's see what happens when you click on it and we are able to add new items okay let's say here one add to do two three okay and now if i click on this check option okay i can mark to do as completed cool and let's see if we can go ahead and drag and drop to rearrange stuff okay and yes that still works I mean, that's how simple it is, okay? Now that we're done creating this, let's try to deploy it, okay? So I'll go ahead and let's say, deploy the app, hit enter, and let's see what it comes up with. All right, so it says that it's deploying it with Netlify, and it is now running the build command. Let's wait. All right, so as you can see, the deployment is successful, and it has deployed it to Netlify, and I'll click on this open website option, and let's see, and boom, there you have it. It's now finally live on Netlify and you can go ahead and access the whatever web app you created by visiting the link that is shown in here. Okay. Now we can also find the link in here and let's see and let's make sure it just works. Okay. ABCD add note. Yes. Different colors. And yes, it works. Cool. 
and now if you come to here you can also see an option that says claim url okay now within one week you can go ahead and click on this option log into your netlify account and you can actually add this to your netlify account so you can go ahead and manage it from within your account now that's how simple it is to write code using bolt ai fix errors install third-party npm packages and also deploy it to netlify now if you look at it for the drag and drop functionality we are actually using a package called react beautiful dnd and that is the package that is giving the drag and drop functionality within this app okay all right now let's just go ahead and create a random landing page for a web development agency and let's see how much of a good job does bolt does when it comes to writing code for a landing page so let's see i'll go ahead and Okay, let's head back to the home page and this time around I'm going to give it a different prompt something like this. Create an XJS 14 app router website for my web development agency. Add cool animations, a couple of pages and give the website a modern design and let's hit send and wait. It started writing the code, let's wait and you can also find the list of old files that it is creating on the left side right here. Alright, so this right here is the landing page they has generated for us. Welcome to Webcraft Studios. They have like a cards. Now I can find an error that says failed to compile and you can also see a pop up like this right here. So I'll go ahead and click on this option that says fix problems and the AI will take care of all things like identifying what exactly is the problem and fixing it as well. So you don't have to go ahead and copy the error code and paste it into AI and do a lot of back and forth stuff. Bolt AI will do all that stuff for you. So let's wait for the updated code. All right, so the AI has went ahead and fixed all the problems and this is the final look of the website. And we have a nice header, we have a couple of cards, a footer. And if you look at the nav bar, you can see it has a nice translucent effect to it. Let's just go ahead and click on the portfolio option. Okay, let's just click on it and boom, we have nice subtle animation, a couple of random projects it has listed in the uh, portfolio section. It has nice uh, text to it, like random images, tags and stuff like that. And now let me see if this dark mode option works okay now we can go ahead and switch between dark mode and light mode and everything works so good okay now to deploy it the same thing just go ahead and click on this deploy button or you can just go ahead and ask it to deploy and everything should be done in no time and one thing that i liked a lot about here is the subtle animation effect okay and as you can see every time you open a new page it is adding that subtle animation effect and for this it has used the framer motion npm package so the AI has itself installed the packages, configured it and it just went ahead and added this animation stuff to our project and that's exactly what we asked for, okay? Super duper cool and that's how exactly you can use this AI tool to kind of code full stack apps and also deploy it in a single prompt, okay? I just wanted to take a second to talk about this cool AI tool right here and this is not a sponsored video or anything. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.